All right, first off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekha Kodash, the Wadi Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, for allowing me to do another video through the Spirit, the Wadi Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, for giving us the truth of worm. Don't mind yourself, Apostle, over that great meal store, and say, it takes and blessings to the whole world life. I uh, just want to do this quick video, and uh, just to say, I uh, just want to say um, that there's a reward for being righteous. Now, it may sound like a broken record, but that's that's fine because that's that's ex exhorting to hear, man. When you live in a world full of wickedness and you see the wicked prosper or seem to prosper, with quotations on that, it's good to know that your deeds and that your works are not going unseen because Yahweh by Shimei Shai is watching everything, man. He sees your struggles he sees your fight and he sees that as long as you continue on this course that he will greatly reward you because there is a great reward for for continuing in being righteous man a hey, because the scriptures say he that turned into righteousness makes himself to a prey what does that mean that means you make yourself to be a a, a prey like a, a gazelle is a is a is the prey of a lion or, uh, or you get the point basically you are putting yourself at a vulnerable position to the rest of the world even though it's strengthening in the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai but when I say a vulnerable position meaning you're given opportunity for people to talk shit about you to be judged to be talked down to to be scoffed to be laughed at to be mocked all sorts of things but that's okay that's okay because like i said the works of the righteous are never forgotten in the eyes of the outside like the scriptures say their works do follow the lord will never forget the righteous man like it, like the scriptures say has anyone ever perished being innocent or as a as as a has a righteous ever been uh seen begging begging bread roughly paraphrased i believe that's joel 4 and 7 but the righteous is always taken care of even in places of difficulty the lord yahweh by shimmy outside take care of take care of his men if he's done it for the wicked how much more for the righteous straight up now i will always remember the elder big guy said that and the stuff would be sense man if the lord fed the wicked of our nation in the wilderness and even to this day gives it benefits how much more will the heavenly father protect those that truly trust in him in the times of trouble man in the times where shit is bleak how much more will the heavenly father be with us so there's a reward man we get shit talks we get mocked we get scorned we got people that just get random demons on them from out of nowhere man motherfuckers just catch a spirit start looking at you weird or talk to you crazy but hey that hey we have to endure those things it is no it's no coincidence that is that the scriptures say that prepare thy soul for temptation when thou comest to seek the lord because we're not living in a righteous world currently huh because it would like it's like it's kind of you think about it it's like damn you're coming to 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 do what's right and you get uh resistance from everybody else and that's yes because we're not living in a righteous world so when you come to this truth you prepare thy soul for temptation preparing yourself to be tried man, by these people it's a majority of people who want you to go back in the world which is just demons on them but they want you to go back in the world they want you to be on the bullshit you used to be on they want you to be cool again they want you to not be that weirdo who talks about the bible all the time because be straight up man the majority of conversations i have with people I don't have shit to say. It's like a good minute conversation, and I'm done. There's nothing. I don't. I have nothing to talk. I don't watch. I don't watch football. I don't watch basketball. I, I'll scoff it. I'll be like, yeah, the the LeBron make it to the to the Super Bowl this year. <laughs> I, I, I I'll talk shit about it. But to be honest, man, I don't. I don't keep up with none of that shit, man. That's the majority of shit that Jay talks about. So I just keep quiet. I just keep quiet majority of the day. I'm just quiet. That's me personally. Why? Because I have nothing to say 
to these people. We're our mindset, not only me, I know brothers, also our mindset is is and you of course you got brothers who can communicate better. I just I that's a, I'm just not good at communicating with uh people all the time. Conversate with conversating, I'll say with people. But you got brothers that are you got brothers that aren't. It's, it's all either way. But I lost my train of thought. <laughs> but either way, the, it's no coincidence that it says prepare thy soul for temptation. Huh? But oh, I remember, I remember now. I'm going to it back because our, uh, the reason some brothers aren't good at conversating when they come into the truth or even have the truth for, for a minute now is because really we don't have anything to talk about. We're not talking about the scriptures or something spiritual or, or something, frankly, that I care about. I don't have anything to say to you. I don't have nothing to say to you. Unless you talk to me about work, about moving apart, or, or moving this, frankly, I have nothing to say to you. Straight up, there's nothing to talk about. Like the Lord told told uh, the people, he said, I am from above and you're from beneath. And that's not being prideful. It's just we, we through the spirit of power, behold by Shemel Shai, have been blessed with a greater knowledge and understanding than the rest of the people of the world so the the fact that we can't communicate them with them so easily is 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 because we are on a higher level than they are that's not being prideful or, or anything that's just is what it is light can't join with darkness hey rich people no hey rich people what a rich man gotta say to a poor man what they gonna talk about man Straight up, rich people conversate with rich people, poor people conversate with poor people. And the wise conversate with the wise. The scriptures say that so keep thy mind in the meditation of the, of the laws of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. Keep thy mind in these scriptures, man. Everything else is bullshit, man. But as I was saying about that Sirach too, man, it's no coincidence that it says that it says that, man. When you come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, man. Because everybody is against you, man. Your own fucking mother is against you, man. And she may be all right, but at the end of the day, they can turn you in, man, for believing in this, man. It's, it's, it's written. So um, the, the mother will betray the, the father, the father. Uh, father betray the son the son the daughter i mean the daughter the the, the father it, 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 you, you can find the scripture but when you come to righteousness which is not supposed to be righteousness is not supposed to be hard but it's because we live in this wicked corrupt world and that's what makes and it's not it's not hard because the, the scriptures say the laws are not grievous it's just vexing to live in this world and 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 to be in a righteous mindset, man, because you see wickedness on a 24-7, like it said about Lot. It says vex with the filthy conversation of the wicked because it pissed him off, man. It, it angered him. But what happened to just Lot at the end? He was delivered from all that, man. He was delivered. He would receive salvation. And the same thing now, man. We're going to receive salvation for trusting in the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai. The Lord Yahweh Shai said, said it himself. I go to go to my place and I will receive you again. The world shall rejoice, but ye shall be sorrowful. And then the, when the world shall be sorrowful, ye shall, re, ye shall rejoice. And he said, he said I come to, to give thee joy that no man shall take away. Roughly paraphrasing. The Lord is with us, man. He's on our side, man. He's on our side. He's on our fucking side. He's not on the side of the wicked. He's on the side of the righteous, man. Yeah, these niggas fucking prosper. These niggas have a challenge in the Hellcat. And you may just drive a motherfucking Ford Fusion. <laughs> an old one. Yeah, yeah, or, or fucking a uh, uh, beat up pickup truck. Whatever, man. Now you can get a better car, but I'm just giving an example, man. We're not living in the lap of luxury in this world, man. But this is, this is just something real quick, man. This is, I ain't, there's no reason to, to drag it on. It's just something that was on my mind. I was talking with the brother. 
a, a being wicked is not being wicked is not what you should do. In other words, being righteous in this wicked world is what you should seek after, man. Because the wicked are going to be rewarded also, but they're going to be rewarded with a very, very painful and sorrowful end, man. It says there's no. Uh, it says horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation. So, but hey, you don't say that about the righteous. It says the righteous shall be beamed up, and the righteous says their works will follow. And it says also that the righteous, hey, that they're going to be protected. So, it's good. It, it shall go well with the righteous man, but for the wicked, it will not. So, with that, all praise be to Yahweh, Shemiah, Shai, Shemakadash, with that, shalom.